Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Uh, today is just a quick tip in Cinema 4D and I believe it goes by the name of a camera lock. So if we just play this animation here and uh, one of the best animations you'll see, Very uh, the complexity of it just uh, astonishes me and I'm sure it does you guys too. Uh, we've got this animation and you notice there's something wrong at whatever frame, we'll say frame 50. Uh, for kind of generic purposes and I'm just going to zoom out and you know uh, I'm going to rotate some text, I'm not actually going to rotate but I'm going to rotate something, I'm going to move something, blah 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 okay now it's fine and now I want to go back to the angle that I was just at now kind of what a lot of people do, they kind of get the um, the move tool and they kind of try and go back into the angle but this can take time especially when you move around a lot uh, but you got to do is just click on the time frame and look it's snapped back now maybe that wasn't the most dramatic difference, so I'll just do it from this angle. Uh, click on the time frame and it snaps back. So I'm just going to be showing you how to do this. Just going to go File New, set up the basic scene, go to a floor and some MoGraph and text object. Uh, just a basic scene. And now obviously being a camera lock, you'll need a camera. So go to the little four arrows with a light and click and hold and go to camera. And you'll know, you can either tick on this little black box under the camera tabs uh, under the objects. Uh, or you can go cameras, scene camera, and camera. And now what you're going to do is make sure you're viewing from the perspective of the camera and just rotate, uh, move along, and you're going to be getting the view that you'll be looking through that it will snap onto, kind of most likely your rendering perspective view. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go, that's my rendering view. Now what you do is you want to click and hold camera and go to the beginning keyframe and click keyframe and go to the last frame and also click keyframe so there'll be no camera animation throughout the 90 frames that we've got here but now I'll just say uh, I'm going to frame 44 I'm zooming out, I'm going to some way we sort of uh, angle, you know, position and everything and I'll just go back to frame 40 and all those snaps back and that's just basically how to do it, you know, just keyframe the each end of the key uh, each uh, each end of the timeline just kind of slurring up my words there uh, but no that's how to do it quick tip on uh, cinema 4d uh, thanks for watching this video hope you liked uh, I'm Conor McCrum designs and I'll see you guys soon bye